So what do you do if you get stuck somewhere and you need to fix something? Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Today's short video is going to be uh, kind of a video update to a video I did a long time ago. It's going to be about what I am now calling my EDRA fix-it kit. I don't want to call it an everyday carry kit. So I call it an EDRA, which is everyday readily available kit. Because I simply don't carry it on my person every day. And uh, But anyway, yeah, this kit I have modified and added and I think I finally have it to where I want it to be. So uh, it's a kit that if I am anywhere and something needs to be fixed, what I have in this kit should do the trick. Without further ado, let's take a look at the kit, shall we? All right, the kit itself, the pouch is a uh, Condor pouch and it has the attachments on the back. It's got the Molly webbing on the front. It has a Velcro for a morale patch. It's got double YKK zippers or whatever you call them. Got a little loop at the top. You could hook it to something. But what's inside of it, let's take a look. I'm just going to grab things as they come. And this is a fix-it kit. This is always in my truck or wherever I go. So if something breaks, this is always readily available for me to fix whatever it might be that's broken. Right off the bat, we've got some electrical tape. We also have a Sharpie pen. We have a small pair of scissors. We have a small bright LED flashlight in case we need to repair something in the dark. We have a little bit of a uh, rim oil here which also serves as a multi-purpose oil. We have some zip ties, rubber bands, and safety pins. Man, these three, all of these three items right here can do a lot of repairs. In it, I always have a pair of uh, reading glasses, again, because I'm blind. I need to have glasses. Uh, we have a little set of Allen wrenches here. We also, oops, sorry about moving the camera there. We also have a container of Loctite super glue. That'll bind just about any damn thing. Small sewing kit with thread, needles, buttons. We have here, and I've shown this on another video, I'm not going to go over it in detail but it's just a Sheffield multi-tool. You know, it's got the knife, the saw, the file, the blade, the screwdrivers. You know, typical multi-tool. Then, we also have, you got it, a damn Bic lighter. And around the Bic lighter, we have some duct tape. And then, I also have a right in the rain notepad. What else we got in here? Down in the bottom we have oops, come here. We've got a uh, a pen and then we have just a little end of a toothbrush, you know, in case I, you know, for cleaning something or anything like that. But there you go, that's it. Neat little pouch made by Condor. You can see it holds quite a few items and I think if something is broke otherwise I think I'd be able to to fix it with this little kit. Alright so there you go guys my EDRA fix-it kit everyday readily available fix-it kit I'm gonna give you some uh, measurements on this little pouch now like I say it's made by Condor you can see it's very well stuffed I don't think I could get one more item in there 
So completely packed out like this, let's do some measurements. It is six inches tall. It is four inches wide and stuffed out. It is three and a half inches deep. So six by four by three and a half. What I do is I use these side, they snap off. I put them through the molly on my medical kit and uh, I keep that right on the side of my medical kit. So I've got my full trauma bag and my fix it kit all together. If I'm in my truck, it's there. If we take my wife's car, it's there. But uh, like I say, I don't carry it on my belt. Who wants to walk around with all this? Just thought I would share that with you. There have been many times I've, I've gone to this little kit. I think there are a host of things that I could prepare if I needed to with this. So anyway, that's what I got for you guys today. I appreciate you coming along on Urban Outdoors. Let me take this second to ask you if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. I'd love to have you on board. For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you from my heart. And uh, till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep puffing, keep it outdoors.